If you're struggling to choose a niche for your digital dropshipping store, right now in this video, I'm going to reveal exactly how I find winning niches for my digital dropshipping brand. So this is gonna be a step-by-step -step process, probably something you've never ever seen before. So follow my steps, stay tuned, let's go ahead and get into it so that you can start your own digital dropshipping store inside of a winning niche that's going to make you money. That's the whole purpose of this to be able to build a business that can grow and where we can ultimately solve problems, okay? Because the way you're gonna make the most amount of money is by solving problems. So before we even get into the step-by-step -step process of how I find a winning niche, I first off just wanna let you know that you should never ever choose a novelty niche. So a novelty niche is essentially something that doesn't solve any problem. You know, with digital dropshipping, we solve real life problems with digital solutions. And that's how we're able to make so much money. Now, if you try to go into a space, uh, let's say for example, something like how to build a Hot Wheels racetrack, you know, that's not really solving a huge uh, problem. And I don't know why that was the first example to come to mind, but you know, it's a reality, that's novelty. Uh, something on how to put up your Christmas tree. It's so specific, it's not solving a huge problem. Instead, we solve real life major problems that almost every single human is going to have. So let's go ahead, hop onto the whiteboard now. And before we get into the step-by-step -step process, make sure to leave a big like on this video if you're ready to see my step-by-step -step process. Let's go. Now, we just covered the difference between problem solving and novelty, and that's very important because in the first step for finding a winning niche that I wanna start dropshipping digital products in, I'm always starting by choosing one of the main four pain point categories that we all as humans just naturally have. This gives me a good starting point before we hop on to my phone and doing some of the fancy steps. This is the base that you need to start at to make sure that you're not starting in a niche that's destined for failure. Many people skip this step and ultimately that's why they aren't getting the results that they want inside of the digital dropshipping space. So let's go ahead and start off with these main four. And it starts off with health, excuse my handwriting, wealth, making money, happiness, and then lastly, relationships. So all four of these categories right here are ones that we as humans typically are struggling in one way or the other. Maybe you're out of shape, you wish you weren't. Maybe you don't have as much money as you wish you did. Maybe you're not happy, you don't know what your purpose is and why you're waking up every day, like what you're doing, what you plan to do, what is your motive. In relationships, maybe you're just struggling to find the right partner or you're struggling with conversation or confidence, whatever that may be. So these are main pain point categories. And this is where I always start when finding a winning niche that I'm about to start selling in. And this is the easy step, right? We're just choosing one of these four. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna choose the top one here as health. And now we're gonna move into the next step in finding our profitable niche because we can't just say, okay, we're gonna sell in the health space. We're just gonna sell in the happiness space. We need to get specific and identify what problems we're gonna be solving and who we're gonna be solving those problems for. So I'm choosing health here. Now let's move on to the second step. Now the next step we're following here is gonna be taking advantage of one of the biggest trending platforms out right now, which is TikTok. So the purpose of this step that I'm always following when choosing a winning niche is to think of a specific pain point, a specific problem that we can solve inside of the category we just chose. So that was through health. Now, what we're gonna be doing is taking advantage of TikTok. We're gonna hop on my phone here in a second and get right to it. Now, I've been in the social media space since I was 13 years old. That's actually the first way I started making money on the internet was when I was growing themed accounts on Vine and then Instagram. And I would make money through affiliate marketing, selling shout out space. And what this allowed me to do was kind of understand exactly the mindset of how brands are operating. You know, if they're buying multiple ads every single day or every single week on the same page, that means that most likely they are making money. Now, if I see a promo go up and they only do it once and I never see them again, most
most likely they didn't make money. So what we're gonna do now is hop onto TikTok on my phone and I'm gonna show you exactly how we can pinpoint now, you know, I'm 21 years old now, so things have changed and how we can take advantage of this trending platform to choose our winning niche. So hopping on here onto my phone, we've already chosen our main category, which is health. So starting off simple, I'm just gonna search a broad hashtag that is gonna show me current trending posts. So let's just go here and start with health. So this is very broad. Let's go over here to hashtags and we're just gonna click on it. And now let's see what is currently trending. Five things you should be doing if you want to lose weight or have a flat stomach. So what I'm gonna be doing here is in my notes notes as well is taking notes of sub niche ideas. So a sub niche is essentially just going to be an idea for a type of problem that we want to solve with our digital dropshipping brand using that main category. So we know our main category here is health. So now let's take note of our sub niches. So right off the bat here, I could say, okay, how to lose weight. Boom. It's an idea how to have a flat stomach. Really, we're just taking note of certain problems that people are having inside of the health category. Let's keep on going. Okay, she's talking about food. It's not healthy. Yeah, this is probably not YouTube friendly. Because as a dietitian, I would never buy it. I would definitely never. Okay, let's see what foods to eat or not eat. Keep in mind, these are all just ideas. We're gonna build off of them here very, very soon. Let's keep on scrolling. I recommend you do this for at least five minutes, ideally more, and come up with 10 plus ideas. Let's keep on going here. Keep on scrolling. Weight loss. We're going through that. Okay. How to improve overall health. Very general. Well, this is with foods. Kind of falls under uh, what foods to eat or not eat. Previously on Ready to Die. This one just kind of gave me an idea. Habits for health. It's pretty good, actually. Keep on going. Did you know that practicing a public... I mean, hey. To put in yoga and if you seek treatment from a standard seen a lot of this girl's videos let's see what she's up to nice she has her own store digital product recipes super cool now i'm going to go ahead and just choose a little bit of a more specific hashtag to look at so i can get some better ideas and then that's going to help me a lot when i get to my next stage and choosing the niche i want to sell in it pretty much just becomes a crystal clear picture and puts me on my path to building this brand and making sales as quick as possible. So first thing I'm gonna do here is just, based on my other ones, it's kind of based around food, etc. cetera. So uh, let's try out health food, just the second one here. Um, this gives me an idea. Maybe we could help people you know, lose weight, but with um, delicious recipes, just an idea. Digital products, let's keep on going. Check out healthy living. Three ways to heal your gut, part two. How to heal your gut, gut health. How to get lean. That was a good TikTok. Hit a lot of pain points here. Okay, now I have 10 specific problems that I just found very quickly here on my phone on TikTok that are trending right now that I know I can provide digital solutions with and make money with because we can't just sell, okay, this is the health brand. This is the product we're selling. You're gonna be more healthy. We can't do that. You have to choose a more specific idea if you really wanna build a profitable digital dropshipping brand and scale it up infinitely. Remember, with digital dropshipping, we don't have to worry about shipping physical products, logistics issues. We get to sell our products as many times as we possibly can without having to worry about logistics or shipping. So now let's get into the next step. All right, you're gonna love this step because what I'm about to show you is how I find the winning niches, but I actually have a tool that does the heavy lifting for me. We already did a little bit of research just here pretty quickly on TikTok. Now we need to just get to the point and get started with our digital dropshipping brand. So we have our list right here on my computer now, and let's go ahead and what we're gonna do is turn each of these just into a little bit more of a general term. So how to lose weight, I'm gonna leave that. How to have a flat stomach, I'm gonna leave that. Uh, I'm gonna put here what foods I shouldn't eat. Uh, this one I'm just not a huge fan of, I'm gonna get rid of. I'm gonna say here, best health habits, how to do yoga, delicious recipes, how to improve gut health, 
how to get lean, how to boost metabolism, boom. Now all I've done right here is pretty much just generify, if that's a word, made it a little bit more general all the terms because what we're gonna do now is have a free tool that you can use right now, do all the heavy lifting for us and help us decide exactly what niche we want to sell in. And this is exactly what I do. So if it's worked for me, it can work for you too. You just need to follow the steps that I provided inside of this video and leave a big like on this video. So now what we're gonna do is go over to the tool, which is Google Trends. So Google Trends is a free tool that we can use to just see exactly what topic has the most demand. And that tells us where we should be selling and what problems we should be solving. So we're gonna go ahead here and get started with this one how to lose weight. All right, let's put this in here. And I live in Puerto Rico, but we're just gonna put this worldwide for right now. And we're gonna go ahead here, get the second one, how to have, I should say, how to get a flat stomach. We're gonna compare this here, how to get a flat stomach, what foods I shouldn't eat, because people wanna know that, best health habits, it's pretty general, but we could break it down if needed. How to do yoga, okay, I don't know a ton about yoga, but maybe people wanna know about it. Delicious recipes, that sounds good to me right now. And I can only put in five terms at once here on Google Trends, but by far we can see how to lose weight has the biggest demand. Now, it is general, right? It's something that pretty much any of the other ideas we put on here could lead to it, you know, improving your gut health, improving your metabolism, doing yoga, you know, that could help you lose weight. But ultimately, we need to relate with our potential ideal customer as much as possible. So how I do this, I go in here, obviously we start worldwide and then you can get into United States. The good thing about digital drop shipping is, you know, we could sell products to anyone, anywhere. As long as they can access our website, we can deliver the products to them. So you can see here, some of these other terms, they just, they don't even compare to how to lose weight. So I'm gonna leave this here and now let's go ahead and just highlight how to lose weight, boom. And in the United States has an average of 53. Now let's put in our other terms, delicious recipes, We'll put this to United States just to compare it fairly to the data we just wrote down on here, how to improve gut health, how to get lean, how to boost metabolism. All right, looks like we got a little bit of a more fair comparison here on these a little bit more specific terms. So delicious recipes, not bad, 42. So we'll put this average 42. And the next one here, how to get lean, 17. And then how to boost metabolism, nine. Okay, gut health, I thought maybe would have a little more demand, but I guess not. So it looks like our two main competitors here going head to head, delicious recipes and how to lose weight. Yes, these do fall hand in hand, but we're able to create more specific digital products related to each one. Now, delicious recipe sounds best to me right now. Maybe it's just because I'm fasting and I'm hungry, but another big piece I like to think about here when choosing a winning niche is, you know, just the gears revolving in my head. Okay, what type of content can I create? You know, when creating content, we want stuff that catches people's attention. It's kind of shocking. Uh, you know, that's the type of thing we work on inside of our mastery program and our group for digital drop shipping. And delicious recipes, I just know for a fact, I can create viral content for recipes, cooking, crazy looking foods, nasty looking foods, all these different things that can catch attention and sell our digital solutions to the main problems. Now, the great thing here at this final step is that we know for a fact, all of these sub niche ideas that we put down on computer are solving a specific problem. So we can make money in any of these niches. I could even choose, I guarantee you, the least demanding in Google Trends idea out of all of them on this list here and still make money off of it because these are problems that people are having. And it's all about perceived value in the marketing and just being able to solve the problem that our ideal customer has. Now, I know I'm throwing around a lot of different terms here about digital drop shipping and how we build our businesses, but the deal is these are problem solvers and I personally am just gonna choose the one that I like most. Now, the great thing here is this isn't a make or break situation. If we choose how to lose weight or delicious recipes as our sub niche idea, it doesn't matter. They're both solving a specific problem and we know now, okay, we have a much better idea of the type of digital solutions we're going to be creating. And comparing this to, let's say for example, a physical drop shipping store, 
you say, okay, we have the pet niche here. I say that's a terrible niche to sell in for physical drop shipping versus something like beauty. Those are completely different. They're gonna yield you different results. But here we're solving a main category problem. So it really doesn't matter. The point of a sub niche and choosing our winning niche here inside of this video is to have a better idea of the type of products we're going to create, right? So that right there is exactly the step-by-step -step process I use to find winning niches for digital dropshipping brands. Now, if you want to learn more and go step-by-step -step in the full process from A to Z starting this business model, then I have a program called Digital Dropshipping Mastery. Now, I don't know when you're watching this, but if you're watching this before August 1st, 2022, you can still join right now at the lowest price it'll ever be at with lifetime access because August 1st, we're adding in new content. And because of that, we are raising the price. So if you want to lock in your spot right now, click the link below. You're going to be able to see the full curriculum, what's inside, what you're getting. And then once you make that investment into your future, you're going to be able to join our private community and start building your own digital dropshipping brand. So hopefully this video helps you out in choosing a winning niche for your digital dropshipping store and keep me updated along your journey. And if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram. It's at Tanner Planet. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to leave a big like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.